Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Haraldus and today I will cover my picks for the top 5 programming languages to learn in 2025. These are purely my opinion, so don't be mad if your favorite language is not included. Let's start with number 5, C and C++. C and C++ are the hardcore classics. They are the basis of what most modern operating systems are built in. Most AAA games use some sort of C and C++. The Chrome browser is built using C and C++. So is MongoDB and many others. They are for developers who want absolute control over how things work. They allow you to build operating systems, games, or performance critical software, handle memory management like a pro. These languages are go to for competitive programming, embedded systems, and areas where efficiency is paramount. If you're serious about understanding how computers really work, mastering C or C++ is non-negotiable. I feel like in 2025 there are plenty of job opportunities for these two languages because they are hard to learn and it's very easy to write bad code with them. Usually companies hire more experienced programmers for these kind of jobs. So if you have been coding for a while, it could be the year where you switch to C or C++. Number four, PHP, the web specialist. While PHP might seem old school to some, it powers over 70% of the web, including WordPress, Facebook, and Wikipedia. It's tailored for web development, making it perfect for building dynamic websites and content management systems. With the focus on backend logic and integration, PHP remains an accessible and highly effective option for developers focused on web projects. The bad thing about PHP is that it is only for building websites and REST APIs. However, if you want to do that, then it is a simple and reliable choice. The, the three main frameworks for PHP are Laravel, Symfony and Codeigniter. If you're looking for a job, uh, Laravel seems to be an obvious choice, as most uh, jobs are looking for people that know Laravel. Even though PHP is not as popular as other web technologies, I don't think it's going away anytime soon, as there are plenty of legacy projects that need to be maintained, and the latest Laravel is really good for creating new projects fast, uh, with most modern web app features built into the framework. Number 3. Python the simplest general purpose programming language. Python's real strength is its simplicity and readability, making it the perfect choice for beginners. It's favorite in the fields like data science, machine learning, web development, automation. Python's batteries included philosophy gives you access to powerful libraries and frameworks, letting you do more with less code. No wonder it's been the go-to language for startups, academics, and AI developers. Compared to how easy it is to learn Python, Python developers are really well paid and it's definitely worth learning as number of Python jobs is increasing every year. Number two, C Sharp or Java. They are both in demand for enterprise. Whether you choose C Sharp or Java, you're opting for a language that can do it all. Even though Java is created by Oracle and C Sharp by Microsoft, they both offer similar features and even their syntax is similar. I personally prefer C Sharp just because it's fully open source. However, they are both great choice for building desktop apps, develop Android apps, create enterprise level backend systems. These languages are staples in finance, game development, think of Unity for C Sharp and massive enterprise software. Both are highly sought after in the job market because they power critical systems around the globe and with robust libraries and tools, they remain ideal for building scalable, secure, and high-performing applications. Even though getting into a job with one of these languages might be harder initially, these kind of jobs tend to be more secure in the long term, as not many people want to work in the corporate environment that these kind of languages tend to be used in, so there will be plenty of opportunities in 2025. And number one, JavaScript and TypeScript, the dynamic duo. JavaScript is everywhere. It powers 98% of the web making it an essential language for any developer. From creating dynamic websites to server-side applications with Node.js, Dino, or Bun, JavaScript dominates the modern development landscape. Now add TypeScript into the mix, a superset of JavaScript with a strong type system. TypeScript improves your code quality, scales well for large uh, projects, and is favored by big tech companies. Together, these two let you build interactive websites, backend servers, mobile apps with frameworks like React Native, desktop apps with Electron. Overall, I think that learning JavaScript and TypeScript is the best choice for 2025, as there are loads of jobs available. You can build almost anything with JavaScript, and even if you're not a JavaScript developer, you will need to learn some 
if you are doing any kind of web development, so you might as well specialize in it by picking one backend framework like Node or Dino and one frontend framework like React or Angular, as these seems to be the most popular ones. Which of these languages are you learning for 2025? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next one.